Hello my YouTube friends, the Mac platform is finally a viable streaming platform thanks to the M1 chip and a new audio program that changes everything on the Mac. Adding audio to your Mac is now really easy and even separating it and the free version does some incredible things and I'm going to show you all of that today. So let's get to it! <laughs> Likes and comments are super easy things that you can do to help push this video to a wider audience. So take a second down below and let me know how I'm doing. And while you're there, if you're not subscribed, please do. It really does help me continue to make content that helps you. And it's totally free. So thanks. I did a video on this amazing app. It's called Caster and I outlined the full featured version and it's price is well worth it. But there are folks out there who can't pay for apps just yet with their streams. So I wanted to show you how to get the most out of this amazing app and set it up for your live stream using the free version. So you know what? Let's dive in. So this is the caster page. The link is in the description down below. All you have to do is click on download caster, but you can see it tells you a little bit about it. You're going to learn everything you need to know from this video, but this is what the web page does look like. All you have to do is click download caster. And then you just go into Finder in your downloads. And I'm gonna right click on this and go to open and it will bring this up and I just click continue and continue and it's gonna ask me to agree with the license. And then I just install it. It'll ask me for my password to install it. And I just put that in and click install the software. It runs through, it's very small package. It runs really quick. And then you just have to click restart for it to restart your computer before you can start to use it. And now it's fully installed. Of course, once you've restarted. This is what Caster looks like when you install it and it looks confusing, but it's really pretty easy. Your inputs are over here on the left. You can see desktop audio is selected and you have a soundboard built right right into this, which is awesome. Over here on the right are your outputs, and this one is the Caster Stream Mix output and your headphone outputs if you want to monitor it through Caster. You can drop this down and select how you want to monitor it. So if you have headphones connected, that's probably how you want to monitor it. And this one over here is what's going to go to your stream. Right below that, we do have a record feature, which is fully included in the free version and really awesome. It will record the soundboard and the desktop audio tracks completely separate, as well as the mix in the Caster Stream Mix. So you'll have all three of of those recordings when it's finished recording. It makes it really easy to mix or adjust the levels if that's what you want to do. Over here on the right, this will change the visual mode from dark to light. Then you can actually adjust the scale of the application right here. Below there, we have a hotkey feature, which is included in the paid version. We have a MIDI setup which is also included in the paid version. Below that, we have a pin feature, which will pin Caster to the top of the screen so that it doesn't disappear when you open up other applications. And below that, we have ground control audio, which is another pro feature here in the center. These are pro features as well. And when I say pro features, I mean they're not included in the free version. With this top add button on the pro feature, you can add other inputs. And here you can add other microphones. And and here you can add other devices. And of course, those are pro features. In the pro version, you can add pretty much as many inputs as you want, and you can even direct them independently to OBS, which is really, really cool. But you may not need that. Up here in the top right, we can go to settings. We can adjust the number of visible tracks. We can adjust the latency. We can also change the sample rate. We can adjust the recording settings right here. You can also get to your MIDI settings, your hotkey menu, which is a pro feature. You can check for updates. You can delete ground control devices. There's a preferences down here as well that you can change a couple of different things. And then there is the license box where you can activate and deactivate your license. So let's show you how you can use the features in the free version. If I open up OBS, we just wanna make sure that up here in volume control, caster is selected. 
And that's really all you have to do, even if you're just going to use this for desktop audio. It is literally the easiest way to capture desktop audio on a Mac. And like I said, that's totally free. You just install this, you select caster audio up in your volume control, and I'm gonna show you how to add it to OBS right now. So we just click this plus, and we're gonna go to audio input capture, and I'll just put caster in here. Then I'm gonna drop this down, and I'm gonna select caster studio mix one and click OK, and there we go. So now our Caster Studio Mix 1 is directed to OBS. So if I just bring a video over here, I click play, we can see it in Caster that it's working. And if we go down here into OBS, we can also see that it is working just fine right there. We can adjust the volume directly to the entire mix right here, which would adjust the volume on the soundboard and on the desktop audio. And we can go over here on the left and adjust the audio directly on each individual. And anytime we can just click our applause or whatever. There are four different tabs for the soundboard and it will play right through our audio. Absolutely awesome. Now you can see we have a Chrome tab up and if I click play, we have desktop audio selected. It's going to play the desktop audio and we are going to be able to see it right here in OBS playing directly to our stream. If I drop this down, I can actually select Google Chrome directly. And that means I'm capturing only Google Chrome's audio and not the rest of the desktop audio. So. That's fantastic if you get desktop alerts or maybe you're listening to something else on your desktop like music or something that you don't want broadcast through. Well, this selects the actual Chrome individually. So we can add this window right into our OBS by dropping this down and doing a window capture, selecting that Chrome window, clicking OK. And we just have to make sure that Chrome window is active so we can actually see the video. And there we go. So we've got our Chrome audio playing in here. And if I pause the Chrome video, you can see we're not getting any audio sources inside OBS. And if I open up that other video again and we play that, you're going to see that it's not going to pick that up. And that's because we have the Chrome audio selected. So other stuff on our desktop is not going to come through Caster. It really allows you to separate out your audio or just select a specific piece of audio that you want to hear on your stream. And this is in the free version. It's absolutely awesome. So while the free version doesn't come with a way to add a bunch of different audio tracks that you can input separately, like the paid version does, it still allows you to select a specific piece of audio and input it in. The perfect example of this is this game right here, which I'm going to show you. I can add a game right in here. And then all I have to do is drop down the caster drop down and select that game. And you can see now we're getting audio from the game directly in. And we will not get other desktop audio or anything like that. We will just be able to use the soundboard and the game audio. It's really, really awesome. Now, when you first install Caster, it does give you a 14 day free trial of the pro version, which has a lot of awesome features. And I highly recommend that you take advantage of those features, check them out and see if it's something that you need. You can probably get by with the free version, of course, if you're just looking for desktop audio or you want to have one input that you can separate out of all the other stuff. But it doesn't hurt to check it out. I really think that it's well worth it. It's $49 dollars one time to get the pro version and have access to as many tracks as you want completely separate in OBS. It's a complete game changer for live streaming on a Mac, for sure. There will soon be a bunch of new amazing features and plugins coming to Caster as well, and they aren't content to just rest here. If you want to find out more about these amazing features and learn what the full featured version can do, you should check this video out. Trust me, it changes everything when it comes to streaming on your Mac. Big thanks to all the sponsors that support this channel. You can find their links in the description below under the heading sponsors. I couldn't possibly keep doing this without them or you, so thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.